So as the title says, my Audi's been in two accidents in a week. Get excited. So we're going to be talking today about the damage on the Audi, probably over about 10 grand total in damage on the vehicle currently. And we're going to go on the vehicle and show some of the other additional damage because obviously this doesn't look like $10,000, but it is. Okay. So I was driving down the highway on the way back from an event. I was driving behind a Ford Escape and it kicked up a retread of a tire. It came out and contacted my front bumper. Now when it first came, all I could do was brace for impact. I was on the highway, there was a car next to me. I just <gasps> braced for the impact, it contacted the vehicle. I wasn't exactly sure how bad the damage was. I then came back to the office where I was coming anyway and assessed the damage. And you can see it's more significant than I initially expected it to be. Front bumper is destroyed, this main grill is destroyed. It's missing both grills from the contact. And then under here, there's the fog light and a missing headlight cap. Now let's go into the vehicle and check out under there. Okay, so underneath our vehicle, uh, first obvious damage is here. Nothing major, but this does have some damage on the lower engine shield here. The most important damage and the reason, again, I wasn't driving the vehicle was because this whole stack condenser radiator assembly is all bent. We had a small leak that I saw. It doesn't appear to really have leaked out much coolant, but under pressure, eventually we continue to push that stuff out. Then we would lose all of our coolant and the car would start overheating. So this is going to be a big part of the expense is going to be this whole stack here. And then all these components aside from the initial body damage. And then we can go down and take a look at some of the other damage along the way. Now, a little bit more damage that is mostly cosmetic. There are a few components that are going to be replaced here. These, the downpipes got contacted. This lower shield here got scraped here. There's some up there. Uh, also there is a support back here which is mostly for aerodynamics, but also uh, is a gas tank support in some fashion that's also cracked. So a few components underneath got damaged, but nothing major. Now we have the impact on our door here. As you can see, there's some damage to our door. It also pushed the mirror up and has a little bit of a nick here on our vinyl. Uh, this is a more interesting story. So this car, after the impact from that, has some damage to the radiator and condenser and all that stuff up front. So I wasn't driving the car. So it was parked in our parking lot. We left for a rally event. The trailer that is right over here was not here because we had our all track in there and we towed it out to a rally event. My sister came here to do a few things at our office. And as she was backing out, she backed directly into the side of my car. The good news is that we had it on camera so you can take a look right now. <gasps> okay, so let's talk about the damage to this. So this is an estimate from our shop. Labor hours for intercooler, radiator, condenser, AC, uh, recharge, replacing a bunch of the body parts and any of the mechanical stuff underneath the vehicle. So the total labor hours on that $1,254 and the parts, these are parts at retail pricing, total parts pricing 5614 and 46 cents. Now this is actually just for the front damage. We also have a body shop estimate for painting this stuff and uh, fitting things, uh, you know, panels and stuff like that. Fenders oftentimes require a little bit of messing with as you may have seen flashback to our all track fender fitting where we mounted it many times. Bodywork damage is actually pretty inexpensive relative to this cost. It's about $1,250 roughly for the paint work. Uh, so that's going to be pretty simple. And now we have our rough idea of total. Plus we have to rewrap everything that needs to be painted like this fender, this bumper, all with the vinyl that we have on here, uh, which is an estimate of $500 right now, unless we have to remove more to blend it, which they probably will want to do. So we may have to remove the hood vinyl so that they can make sure all these panels blend together properly and match up if you take the vinyl off. We also have the door damage, which we don't have an estimate for the actual body work yet. That is something that we're waiting on an estimate back on. The door itself for a new door is about $800 or so roughly, eight or 900 roughly from the top of my head. And so we can see our total, it gets pretty high pretty quickly. I suspect the body work relating to that door is probably gonna be more than this stuff because it takes a lot more to remove a door, swap all the guts from it over, and then all everything with fitting it back up and getting all the body parts to line up along with blending, just like you would have to do here for this paintwork. 
the question is, is it totaled? First of all, we don't know the answer to that yet. I suspect it's not, but we have no idea. The total estimates are not finalized in, but we have a rough idea of where we're gonna land. It's probably gonna land us below totaling the vehicle. So I'm gonna fix the car. Uh, we are going to fix it at the shop going to be on uh, our, our shop side. We're gonna do the mechanical work and then send the paint work with a fender, uh, the bumper, and then also the door with a new door and then paint work out to a body shop to do. So we will be fixing this vehicle. We will probably have updates at, along the way, somewhere along the way, uh, but this vehicle is not quite to the point of totaled. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.